In October of 2008, I opened the Martha's Vineyard newspaper, and in the newspaper was an ad saying, urgent, Ox needs home. I thought 100 people, maybe more, would be answering that ad, so I chimed in, and I contacted the person who placed the ad. She said, no, no one else has answered the ad, and I need help desperately. I have many, many animals here, but the most difficult to place is a 2,500-pound ox. He really needs a home, and he needs it right now. So I said, fine, I'll call every animal organization I know, and I'll help you find a home. And she said, good luck. <laughs> so I called and called and called, and no one, no one had room for a giant ox. And then, I don't know why it is, I called a friend who lives in Manhattan. She loves animals, and so does her husband. So I asked if she knew of an organization that might take this very large and very friendly ox who was raised to think he was a dog. He was raised in a family, but he got a little bit large for the family. And then he was living on a farm. And so my friend said she would look into it. I reminded her that he needed a large piece of land because I had offered our five acres, and the woman who owns him said that would be far too small for him. He needs 100 acres. So the next day, my friend called me back, and she said, my husband and I talked it over, and we decided we'll take him. And I said, oh, no, you live in Manhattan. You have no idea what an ox is. He's huge. He needs 100 acres. And she said, well, guess what? We have bought a 100-acre farm in the Berkshire Hills of Massachusetts. And he can stay there because we also have a herd of 30 beautiful female cows. And they've also been rescued. Well, the short and the long story is he got in a truck on the island of Martha's Vineyard and he went to this beautiful farm in western Massachusetts, and that's where he lives today. And I go there, and I paint him, and I draw him, and this is the first painting I made um, when I set up my easel in the farm. It's not the first portrait I made of him, but this is the first full painting that has the background of the farm. So it shows you the great hills of the Berkshires and how well situated and happy he is, and also how carefully they braid his tail. The other paintings and drawings in this exhibit focus on my memory of him, my thoughts about him. I don't paint them on the site. This one, for example, I call Golden Boy because he is. He's the luckiest ox, I think, in the world. The background to this painting is a gold powder. It's a metallic powder. And I've ground it up and ground it into the paint. And then I push it onto the paint with my fingers and hope for the best. And it's one of my great favorites. This one below is uh, an oil painting of him, his name is Jose, on a background that I, I drew of, of uh, these lines because it's kind of the trajectory of his life. Who knows where his life was going to go, but of course it ended up beautifully. So he's mounted on these metallic lines of all different colors. And then this one over here, this is a story that doesn't end happily. It's a two-piece uh, painting call, called um, Cut Ups. And the reason for the title is, you see the ox going from his beginnings, where he has no color, he's born into the world, and then he goes through becoming a personality. And then, unfortunately, most oxen end up cut up. He didn't. Jose did not end up that way. He's a very, very lucky boy.